studio with me, uh, Head of the Police Association, Senior Sergeant Ron Idles. Good morning. Good morning, Neil. This sounds like crisis time, is it? I think it is crisis time. Um, some time ago we spoke to junior members who uh, gave us similar stories uh, and then some um, senior police said, well, you're talking to the wrong people. Uh, we then decided to survey 690 senior sergeants, of which 48% responded. The response that we got back uh, is somewhat astounding, but it um, confirmed what we already knew, that uh, we were stretched to the limit. At times, uh, sergeants are juggling four or five jobs and not every call is being attended to. Is this as bad as we've seen it? I've had... Had several times over the years we've had a crisis in numbers. Is this as bad as it gets? I think it is. Um, there's been no investment really in policing since 2010. This is about trying to take the politics out of it, trying to not have a bidding war coming into an election and coming up with a model that's sustainable across and, and governments can budget and forecast. 3,300 over six years is only 550 a year, but that's what we need and we need an immediate injection um, now. But there's some coming through now, aren't there? Is that going to help? There's 406 committed over the next two years. Uh, that needs to be brought forward and then there needs to be another allocation in, in the next budget. Some people will say this is the Police Association grandstanding, this is Ron Idle's grandstanding. This is not. This is the middle management of Victoria Police saying we are at crisis. What does it mean when they have to hold a priority one job like a, a home invasion? What does that mean? What it means is someone rings triple O and that call is then um, diverted to the police emergency line. Esther, which is the contractor, has 60 seconds to uh, deliver that call under their contract. Now, I think there's been 139,000 calls for Priority 1. That call goes to the sergeant and he gives a registered number, which then writes it off Esther's book. So they'll say only 1% of Priority 1 calls uh, weren't attended to. That's not right because what happens is the sergeant gets it. He has five jobs which he uh, needs to send units to. One might be an armed robbery, one might be carjacking, one might be family violence, one might be an accident. He has to make a decision which job to attend. He's playing Russian roulette with people's lives. Really? It is that serious? Is that dangerous? Well, he has to make the call as to which, which job he should attend to. Eventually, it will end up in, in disaster because he'll pick the wrong call and our members shouldn't be put in that place where they make that decision. As I drove down here today, I had a superintendent ring me and he said, thank you for bringing this up. We know this has been going on for some time where our senior sergeants and sergeants are holding jobs and they shouldn't be. If we as an association come out and say to our sergeants and senior sergeants, do not give your registered number until you have a unit, we would identify that won't be 1% of calls that are unattended. It would probably go up to at least 10 or 12%. You say it'll end in disaster. Do you mean lives are at risk? I could give you an example which is subject to a coronial inquiry where a young girl uh, threatened self-harm. It took police 62 minutes to arrive and the sad result is she committed suicide in the backyard. If they'd turned up, they might have saved her. Correct. Mm.